loss. What did you lose? I asked a youngster, has Allah ever tested you with loss? He said, yes. He said, what? He said, my cell phone. He said, Allahu Akbar. It, I did not belittle that. The, the boy was right. In my mind, I'm thinking Allah has not, not yet tested you, my child. You lost your cell phone. He said, yeah, don't worry. You'll recover from the loss. He said, no, I did. He said, how? He said, my dad bought me another one. There he goes. There he goes. So each one's loss is actually according to that level of the person. Each one's loss. If you and I were to lose a mobile phone, perhaps we would probably cry over, or not cry over, but we would probably consider the greater loss, the contents, rather than the gadget itself. The contents, what's inside, is probably a greater loss than the gadget itself. But when you're younger and you have less responsibility and perhaps your work is of a different nature, in that particular instance, hey, it was the phone. Forget about the contacts, I don't need them. I'll start afresh, you know. But Allah will grant you. Thank Allah, connect with Allah, praise Allah. So for, young, for, for, for a young mind, the loss is on a different level altogether. We need to help them understand, don't worry, Allah will replace it for you always, always. And I guarantee you, my brothers, my sisters, those of us who might have suffered a loss, promise of Allah, a promise of Allah, He will always replace it with something way better in this world, and if not in this world, then in the hereafter.